Hi there, everyone. I'm First Alert meteorologist Rochelle J. Just want to give you a top of the hour look at the radar. What we look for is something that's a different color than the colors around it. That kind of indicates that something might be going on. You're seeing these bright pinks here right around North Brantford, north of 95 around Guilford. Again, this is 350. Switching it over to something called the correlation coefficient that shows where, hey, Maybe something's being thrown up in the atmosphere. Something's not matching the things that are falling around it, which would have been raindrops. Let's query this so you know exactly what's going on with this. The threat with this is going to be for areas of some hail. We could see that hail upwards of an inch in diameter, so that's the size of a quarter coin, along with wind speeds of 60 miles an hour. Actually, this is kind of hard. Let me try and dig that out there. You see, I try to dig it out, and it just kind of falls apart. That's all those small little sleet pellets. Can't probably see that too well but there's just like these tiny tiny little balls somebody uh, said it was kind of like snow cone texture but the question was how much juice are these storms gonna have they're pretty parched right now at high temperatures the next seven days I mean if it's not the beginning of spring in Connecticut I don't know what is then that's the same sun angle that we would have during the early part of October and when you think of October Oh man, it's so beautiful. It's so nice. So we're going to have that type of sun angle versus this snow tomorrow when we do see a little bit more of the sunshine. So that's going to chip away at this snow a little bit faster and put a track on this. Take it off to the east for the next, let's say, 30 or so minutes. And some, these are some of the areas that we're going to be talking about dealing with this heavy rain. Newtown, Heritage Village, our friends in Oxford, over towards Ansonia as well. So you might be asking, um, Rochelle, what's going on with this rain? We still have a couple more hours before we dry out. And we've got another chance for some early week rain because it's April. You know what they say about April. So here's today's edition of what had happened was. We had this cold front sagging down to the south. This area of cold air rushing in behind it. We have what's called a backdoor cold front. So normally we talk about cold fronts. They move from west to east. This one is moving from north to south. Watch how these temperatures are going to drop down as we head through this evening. You see 90s and then in just a few hours by about midnight, we're going to be into the 60s and rain chances increasing heading toward the late morning hours and into the afternoon. Second half of the day is where we're really going to focus our attention for the bulk of that rain. First alert weather, Connecticut's most accurate forecast certified by weather rate. Still a little misty out there, but everyone currently under a wind advisory through early on Sunday morning. Wind gusts 40, 45, maybe upwards of 50 miles an hour are possible across Connecticut in just a few hours. Out there right now, wind speeds generally 10 to 20 miles an hour. You're seeing those streamers coming out of the south and southwest. That means we're seeing some mild air coming into Connecticut and wind gusts. Generally, the strongest gusts are center, or excuse me, over the eastern part and the western part of the state a little bit stronger for some of those wind gusts into parts of Hartford County close to the Tallinn County line. But generally, there are still a lot of areas where the wind gusts are not too bad. But expecting that to pick up Hartford area here, we're seeing between nine and midnight, those wind gusts getting upwards of 30, 35, 40 miles an hour. And then into New Haven, seeing those wind gusts by about nine o'clock, close to 45 miles an hour in some areas across Connecticut could, could be even stronger than that temperatures right now. Check out these numbers. 55 in Colbert, 58 in New Haven, 59 Danielson, 60 degrees in the capital city right now. It is 620 in the evening in December in Connecticut. We've got a warm front that is just north of us, and here's that same cold front that brought that severe weather into parts of the Midwest towards Kentucky and Alabama. Yes, that's moving toward Connecticut, but we are going to be on the north side of where some of those strongest storms are going to be. Not saying we can't get a couple of strong thunderstorms in here right now. It's quiet across Connecticut, but 730, you do see a few showers starting to move in. I think the strongest of the storms will move in after eight or nine o'clock. I'll be here keeping an eye on things. Let me know what you're seeing in your town or city. 1030 stopping it here. You do see the potential for some brief downpours to move through the state. I think most of that will be out of here. The strongest of it will be out of here by one o'clock in the morning. So keeping an eye on things over the next few hours. And then after that moves out, the rest of the rain clears out and we'll have clearing skies during the day tomorrow. So high temperatures on Sunday, much cooler. We're not looking at 60s, 
they might be back later on in the 10 day. High temperatures tomorrow are going to be in the 40s across Connecticut. Still a bit breezy, not as strong of the winds. Again, wind advisory goes through early on Sunday morning. I believe it's four or five o'clock in the morning that that will drop. So your inland exclusive 10 day forecast showing a very quiet forecast after today. Breezy tomorrow, but generally not a bad day whatsoever. Shoreline forecast. Check this out. Temperatures are actually going to be in the 50s through a good portion of the week. Our average high for today right around 42 degrees. We won't be anywhere near that for pretty much the next seven days. We'll be running above average as we head into the middle part of the week, maybe cooling down heading into next weekend. Hey, 